I welcome all of you uh, to this session on online solutions to linear programming problem. I am Madhusudan Soni. I am a professor of operation research for the last 30 years. And I have been teaching uh, to students of various uh, levels such as chartered accountants or MBA or BBA, BMA students. Uh, now I found in the course of my lecture that there is there are a couple of very good tools which are available. And what happens is many times uh, most of the subject uh, for mostly for the students of operation research what one thing which happens and which I found it uh, very common is that this is a new subject and most of the students don't have uh, who have who don't have mathematics background they find it uh, you know a very daunting subject and particularly when we go to things like linear programming by simplex algorithm it comes as a shocker so with uh, some lot of effort they are sometimes able to capture the algorithm but you know when they try solving the problem themselves they don't know whether the solution is correct or not fortunately there are some uh, websites which can show whether the solution obtained has been right or wrong now this will be useful for whom this kind of a lecture will be useful for whom i may say that it will be useful for those who are studying for uh, MBA or PGDB or similar programs which are typically you know two years full-time postgraduate programs in India uh, those who are also studying for uh, three-year part-time programs of various universities uh, like master of marketing management master of financial management and so on either in Mumbai University or other universities they also have this topic and therefore this kind of uh, you know tool would be very useful for them uh, even uh, in for the graduate program such as uh, BMS or Bachelor of Accounting and Finance in Mumbai University this topic has been introduced so for those students also this kind of tool will be very useful what I wish to do is like this that I'll take you to two websites these websites are you know those which use a methodology similar to the methodology taught in the class or the algorithm is conducted in a similar manner more or less I would say and where you use fractions rather than decimals and therefore how a problem can be solved with accurate results as you solve in the class you'll be able to see the simplex tables exactly as you solve in the class now I'll take one sample question obtain the solution thereof by using both these resources now after you do go through this uh, or the subsequent slides I would recommend that you you know visit this webflowcomedy.com uh, website and on page number six therefore at that page number six at serial number 60 you will find a note which explains the use of these web pages at little length in fact one problem has been taken it has been solved using both the web pages the solutions are compared and so on now I'll go to one question uh, which uh, uses only slack variables now those who are conversant with linear programming by simplex method would know by now the difference between decision variables, slack variables, surplus variables, artificial variables and so on. So without going into details of all that, I'll just go to one particular problem which we solve in the class sometimes. I'll read out the problem for you. A firm uses three machines in the manufacture of three products. Each unit of product A requires three hours on machine one, two hours on machine two and three hours on machine three. Each unit of product B similarly requires 4 hours on machine 1, 1 hour on machine 2 and 3 hours on machine 3. And lastly, each unit of product C requires 2 hours on each machine. Okay. The contribution of these products A, B, C is respectively rupees 30, rupees 40 and rupees 35. The firm obviously wants to maximize the contribution, desires to maximize the contribution. But what are the limitations? The limitations are in the form of machine hours available on the three machines 1, 2, 3 and these hours are limited to 90, 54 and 93 respectively. Now the question says formulate the above as a linear programming problem and solve it using simplex algorithm. Okay. Now I will not go through the entire process of formulating the problem but if you put this information given in the question in a tabular form the question can be easily set to appear like this the objective would be to maximize 30x1 plus 40x2 plus 35x3 which are my three products and what are the constraints the constraints represent the number of hours available on machine 1 2 3 respectively 
for example first constraint tells me that the number of hours available on machine 1 is limited to 90 second constraint says 54 for machine 2 and third constraint says 93 for machine 3 the usual non negativity condition which is omnipresent in linear programming problems is also present therefore the values of the variables cannot be negative now what i'll do is i'll take you to this page uh, now see one of the two pages is uh, uh, difficult to pronounce zwick media if i can call it zwickmedia.com oblique real world oblique simplex.html this is the web page now the creator of this web page is one professor stephen wenner of hofstra university it's a university in the USA and I have found over the years that this this page I have found for several years now and it always gives correct solution for any problem I have tried it for many problems with uh, you know simple ones difficult ones and so on but I always found this page to give the correct solution so solution to question number one I'll now take you to this page okay now the page requires that that I'll come to now see this page looks like this now this is zwigmedia.com real world oblique simplex.html this is the uh, thing which I had uh, mentioned there this is the website address now how do we go here now look here this is my problem which I have stated in the last page this is the problem as formulated so let me copy this problem from here you know non negativity condition is not required to be copied so I will say edit copy then go to this web page I am only simply pasting the problem here so I'll say paste it here now the important word here is this web page requires that the objective should be mentioned as maximize p is equal to something so it could be either maximize p is equal to or minimize p is equal to so I make it now here maximize p is equal to then my objective function comes as 30x1 40x2 35x3 etc subject to the three constraints which we have just copied and pasted there now here you have a choice of either choosing decimal uh, uh, numbers or fraction numbers I'll choose fraction numbers and then go to solve and I'll click on solve now if you see here the optimal solution is already arrived here and what it says is optimal solution says that p is equal to 1 2 1 5 value of x1 is 0 value of x2 is 12 and value of x3 is 21 if you manually solve also the problem you will get the same solution and it is absolutely correct but now look at the way the solution is presented here this is the tableau number one that is initial simplex tableau thereafter this is tableau number two that is after the end of first iteration this is what you get the zeta value increases from 0 to 900 and at the end of second iteration which is contained in table number three or tableau number three the zeta value further improves from 900 to 1215 and the summary of the solution appears here saying that optimal solution is p is equal to 1215 x1 is equal to 0 x2 is equal to 12 and x3 is equal to 21 which means that x2 and x3 are basic variables whereas x1 is a non-basic variable fine now the difficulty in regard to this is okay the solution has been obtained solution is correct you can verify it yourself the issue here is now see once I have been uh, the uh, yeah okay this I have gone through now the final solution appears like this what happens is in the course if you want to copy the solution in word for example copy the problem type to you and the solution thereof the alignment of columns absolutely gets disturbed so what you should do is you should use some kind of font which can be called as a fixed width font so courier is one of them see the question needs to be typed in the upper portion which appears here so which I typed here then I clicked on fraction and then I clicked on solve after that the solution appears as shown earlier in the previous slide where I have shown the solution the solution as you saw appears like this uh, you can copy and paste the solution in the Microsoft Word but you will see that the alignment is not correct so what you should do is you should change the Microsoft Word font to courier for the time being or use any other fixed width form then the alignment will be proper so this is the one way of getting the solution using this Zwick media page now I'll go to the second web page which is called as a to z math.com if you see here the <coughs> web page I'll take you to that web page also see look at the address of the web page it is a to z math.com oblique cbom oblique 
simplex.aspx so this is the name of the web page this is the address of the web page at the top of the web page you will find something like this you know which gives you the option to select whether your problem is to maximize or minimize and then you have to define for example i'll go to this page now see here what is the objective of the problem i have to first define by clicking on maximize or minimize as the case may be since we are solving a problem for maximization i'll click here now the number of variables if you see the number of decision variables in our problem was three and the number of constraint was also three so i type here three number of constraint is three then i click on generate what the generate will do is to open a table some numbers are filled here by default but we'll remove those now see number of variables is three number of constraints is three so if you see here a web a, a table has opened where there are three variables in each constraint and there are three rows all the constraints by default are less than or equal to you can change this if you want now let me type out the objective function from our problem the objective function is to maximize the value of 30x1 plus 40x2 plus 35x3 so i'll type it here in this web page 30x1 40x2 35x3 okay subject to what now subject to the constraints the first constraint says 3x1 plus 4x2 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 2x3 less than or equal to 90 okay next pay, next constraint says 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 less than or equal to 54 the numbers are appearing here because i had used this page some time back so what happens is it returns some of the numbers which i have already used and the last constraint is 3x1 plus 3x2 plus 2x3 this is less than or equal to 93 the right hand side of the third constraint is 93 now see here you have various options to click on simplex or to click on big m or to click on two phase now the given problem which we have typed here does not require any artificial variable or all the constraints are less than or equal to type therefore you can click on simplex but if you have in any problem a constraint of the type which is greater than or equal to or for that matter equal to you need to click on one of these two options namely big m or two phase method two phase method is somewhat different than the big m method in fact it is easier but what is normally taught in our universities here in india is the big m method so you can click either on simplex method or on big m method to get the solution now that i have a problem only having slack variables i'll click on simplex now this solution here on this page appears like this if you see here what are the basic variables what are the right hand sides of the constraints the first table second table etc if you wish you can copy this whole thing in word by selecting the whole thing and saying copy paste and if you go to word and try to you know uh, paste this solution here what happens is there are a lot of unnecessary characters which appear here okay now see these quote marks now see all that you need to do is to find and replace so if you find and replace these characters by nothing the table will look much better as i have shown in my presentation here look here now this is the uh, problem page now you need to define the number of variables and number of constraints that you need to solve the example in, in our example there are three variables three constraints so once you feed the required information and generate on click a suitable table table will open i have shown the result of only first iteration now where is the result of the first iteration look at this this is the result of the first iteration at the end of iteration number one the zeta value increases from 0 to 900 and after carrying out one more iteration the value further in is increases to 1 to 1 5 so same solution is obtained using this but you have here choice of using either a uh, a simplex method which is the case for slack variables problem or all the constraints are less than or equal to then you can use the simplex method or you can click on big m method which will use typically the artificial variables with a high contribution plus or minus m or a two phase method which first eliminates the artificial variables and then goes to the problem and solves it further in the second phase so either of the two ways you can use it you will be able to guess the difference between the two methods on your own and you will find that uh, you know both the solutions are in fact same only thing is the tableaus the way they appear may sometimes look different 
Now for a detailed use, uh, how uh, now that I have explained briefly in this lecture, what you can do is you can go to this uh, you know detailed note on uh, the use of both these web pages. This note will be available at a website called as www.piplovcompany.com. There, if you click on publications, uh, if you click on publications, you will be able to uh, see that there are several publications. Go there, find out the last note on the subject at about seven page, page number six. Sorry, page number six. If you go, you will find an at the end, you will find a note on uh, use of uh, web tools for solving uh, linear programming problems or something like you know uh, online solutions for linear programming problems. Click on that, you can download that note. What I have done there also is I have taken a different problem. I have solved it using both these web pages and compared the solution. So I'm sure this you will find very useful. In fact, on this uh, website of uh, webflowcomedy.com, you will find that there are several other publications which are listed. And in all probabilities, you will find something of use to you. For example, even you know tutorials like how to use Word or for how to use PowerPoint, Excel, and so on. So there are a lot of useful things. You will find that there are almost 70, 70, 71 lectures, uh, 70, 71 notes and links to lectures. For example, you will also find some of my own lectures on the topics such as CPM port or for that matter linear programming, transportation problem. Whenever you have time, please do browse through these pages and try to look at them. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the best.